Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native Redux Saga. So today we are going to learn about how to call the API into our React Native Redux Saga. Okay, so current currently I have made this UI. So let me show you. So this is the UI of the product list that is come with the help of the React Native Redux Saga. So we are going to learn in this video how I have made this one. Okay, so here we go with that one. Let's understand the basic thing okay suppose we have a ui to fetch some of the user data that is our same requirement if i want to fetch some of the user data from the remote server when the button is clicked okay so what we have to do is dispatch there is a dispatch method dispatch whatever would be the action type so this is basically the actions so you have to create that one and this is a payload okay up uh, okay this is the first part then initiate the side effect the component dispatches a plain object action to store okay and we will create a saga that watches the user fetch requested so here this is user fetch requested so here we have user fetch requested part okay so here you can see that there is my saga starts fetch the user on each dispatched fetch user requested action so here take every this is my function my saga so here we fetch user and the here we are calling the api section okay so this is that how the things goes on the component dispatches a clean object action to the store we will create the saga that watches the user fetch the actions and triggers an api call to fetch the user data and then this is done this is the api call over here okay then we are here yield dot put yield put so type user fetch succeed. So here, this is user fetch succeed. It's here we have that one. So that is come up with the reducer section. Okay. So here they have mentioned the reducers. No. Okay. So I will show you what exactly it is going on. So this is the basic how the things gonna be. So let's dive into the code level and how I, the things work on. Okay. So first we have the product list. So we will do with the product list section. Okay, so this is the product list page, right? And here, if we go and check this one, okay. So here we have first we calling the fetch product request. Okay, so if I click on that use effect, okay, this is that one fetch use request, and here we have the fetch products from the actions, right? So this is basically the actions. Okay, so I will check my function what the action it is. Let me go back, and this is fetch product request okay so let's go and check this one fetch product request so which is the action part is fetch product request in the previous you can see that here also we are using that you can also pass the dispatch part with action type right but here i have create of export and here i'm sending the fetch product request okay so this is fetch request part the same part okay then initiate initiate the side effect so now we have to go with the saga part so here we have the sagas product saga so let's check where it is so here we go with this one okay so this is here you can see that we have imported from the actions right then how we are calling with this one okay watch fetch products so take latest and here we have if we go over here like this you can see take every they were mentioning i have making out the take latest okay then we have a fetch product and this is the api call fetch product so here i'm calling the api and storing that in the this one fetch product success if i go over here fetch product success here you can see we have the fetch product success okay here you can see fetch product success and if i go to this one this is fetch product success right so here we are calling the fetch product success so this is that one and this is our action type and if i go to the reducer now okay so here this is that one fetch product success and how the things goes with the reducers okay so here you can see that fetch product success and uh, here you can see after this one we are uh, we are just cloning that state products we are putting that one and is loading gonna be false and error gonna be null okay so this is how the things goes well after doing that after getting on here you can see that we have a products part okay so product section if i go in the product list so here you can see the last step over here 
map state to props here we have the product uh, product section state dot this is a product reducer we are fetching the products because all the data is set into the product state here you can see that products and here we have initial state if you go to the products so we are setting that state into the product section here we have the product section right so here we have add product success fetch product success so here we have products all the data is over here in that one after that we can just fetch it from there okay and we are going to show and here you can see that we are just mapping that one okay so here you can see we have the products okay and if i just do the console part also okay so here we have the product list so this come in the prop section so this is the products part and here you can see we are doing the flat list we are sending all the product data and we are extracting the data from the like the product image title product category okay the category the price okay so this is how we are able to fetch or call the api the process is like this okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and one thing i just forgot that is the store part okay so we have a app.js file so here we are uh, collecting the product list okay that is from the store provider and the last one that is the store.js file okay so here also you can see that we have a store.js file okay connect to the store the same part so here we have a create store and the apply middleware so we have a create store and apply middleware then create saga middleware from here then product reducer they where we have all the reducer part okay then root saga so here in the product saga you can see that we have a root saga right so here you can see that we have a root saga and currently in here if i go over here create middleware so here we have a saga middleware that is my saga so here the middleware is my saga if i go and check it out over here inside the initial side effect the saga says they have the my saga but now but uh, here that part for uh, my side this is a root saga okay so here i am exporting that store and in the app.js i am calling that one okay you can see that and this is the product list where we are calling the api dispatching that and get the data and set that into and just pulling that data into here in the flat list okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day